The news wasn't very fresh, but now it's getting heavy because it's the main subject of the cover of Japanese magazine Young Machine. One of the most charismatic motorcycles in cinema history is the GPs from Top Gun, and it looks like its 40th birthday will be making a comeback in the form of the Kawasaki GP's 900 RS Ninja. Next year will be 40 years since Kawasaki launched the mythical Ninja 900, the motorcycle that would define the concept of the Japanese machine. And this Ninja GP's 900R was equipped with the most modern engine at that time, a four-cylinder transverse 4T cycle, already equipped with liquid cooling, with 16 valves and a double overhead camshaft, DOHC, with 115 CV, the most powerful of all. Also, the timing chain is mounted on the left side of the bonnet, not between cylinders 2 and 3, another modern detail that other motorcycles don't have. And let's not forget the aesthetics with the rectangular headlights embedded in a very tight integral fairing, and that would be another plus. The 2024 Kawasaki GP's 900 RS promises to be a great remake of the first Ninja 900. Well, take all of this and mix it with the Kawasaki Z900 RS, and the result is the explosive and brutal Ninja Kawasaki GP's 900 RS, the top gun bike of 2024. If we take a look at the technical specifications of the modern Neo Retro RS, we will see that the inline four-cylinder transverse engine, minus 4T, LC, 16V, DOHC, IE, produces an astounding 111 CV with plenty of torque, so there will be nothing to fear for the lack of CV. Dual 300mm front disc brakes with radial mount calipers, traction control, power modes and suspension at its best, signify the best retro ninja ever. Let's hope they emulate his instrumentation style too, with a pair of asymmetrical analog dials and a smaller third for other purposes. Modernity doesn't have to be at odds with retro, so let's hope the rumors spread by our Japanese counterparts at Young Machine Magazine come true by the end of this year.